People are very bold in the way they eat nachos. You can tell a lot about a person. I'm not a nacho guy. Or nachos or like a like a buffalo dip or something. Okay. You can you can tell a lot by a person about how they eat it. Some people just like take as many things as they want, just like load it up. And then some people just get, you know, yeah. on the side. They take the less favorable parts. Right. That's that's a good person. That's a good person. Well, the, the people like you there's two options, right? It's like I will take one chip every time I want a chip, or I will take as much as I think I am going to eat. Right? There's two schools of thought with nacho or just appetizer area. Well, anybody who puts it, I don't like, yeah. I don't like to put them on a plate. But it's, it's I like the same to, thing. I like to ret- take right. from the nacho. Yeah, you're, you're the retriever. But the thing is, like, if let's say we, we had like 20 hors d'oeuvres uh-huh. and I just took six off the bat, everyone would be like, well, what the fuck? Well, what the fuck are you doing? But if I just took six over time, no one would say a fucking word. True. Like I'm like I'm a bottom feeder when it comes to nachos. Everybody, everybody, everybody always takes the top chips, the one that have all the cheese in it and all the, the good yeah, stuff. Yeah. But as they start to pick away at that later, at, at that layer, a, a bunch of cri- all those chips are like usually like soft and soggy because they have melted cheese all over them at the top. So right under that layer. There are pristine, fresh chips that are hot and warm because of the top. And then I take those chips and get the stuff from the bottom. And you fucking scrape. And get, the stuff, scraper. get the stuff from the bottom. It's really the best. It's the best. Everybody thinks the top, the ones that are all fully loaded are the best. They're not. Yeah, and especially with all this, like, COVID stuff, you, th- you think about how we used to eat appetizers. Like, now, like, my family had, like, like a toothpick in every single piece of cheese or like like literally like if we're making nachos I'm sure there's like each chip is going to have its own individual cheese but back then it mm-hmm. used to just be like fucking fistfuls and just pop them like slobbering on your hands and going for more it's like Jesus yeah you know yeah probably that we're, we're going to start looking back at the way we do things and we say eh, yeah, maybe that's not a good idea maybe I shouldn't have eaten those fucking popcorn kernels off yeah. the floor at the movie theater maybe I shouldn't have been like 16th in line to drink from that beer funnel <laughs> Because the guy, two guys before me, put it in his asshole. So. <laughs> yeah, the guy, the guy four before me said he just made out with someone who had herpes. And like, then four before that, he just vomited it right back up, <laughs> and, then, and then came back down. And the guy who started it. I mean, like, oh yeah, it's crazy. I and mean, what, what what we did, we were living like pigs. Yeah, literally. <laughs> we were living like like swine, just absolutely disgusting. Yeah, it's like oh, just some, just think about something. Like not even like I'm I'm a I, I'm not a germaphobe. But I was like, I'm definitely like a, even before all this, I was like, uh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, you didn't like to share straws. Yeah, I didn't like to. When we were all like, you fucking pussy. Yeah, they're like, you fucking loser. <laughs> let me take a sip of your drink. It's like, I'll just get you and I'll just get you something. It's like, no, let me take a sip. It's like, fuck off, okay? Mm-hmm. Besides the point. That's just a pet peeve. It's like, uh, man, I don't know. It's just watching what other people used to do. You know, it's like, what about our friends that would take like the what are the, what are the, it's the spe- specific name for the beers that are like not even ours but at someone else's at the bar that aren't finished isn't there a specific name for those oh yeah. uh like fucking not road beers not it's like left some some whatever the drinks well, that- I, well after after a night of drinking if you go around in the morning and finish all the half drinking drinks those are wounded warriors okay i think it's wounded warrior i think <laughs> I, I think it's wounded warriors but like our friends before all this would like the ones that like maybe ran out of cash or just didn't want to pay at the time or strapped on cash would go around and take the wounded warriors from other people's tables, and that would literally give me anxiety. That's like the only yeah. time I'll get heart palpitations, and that's tough to watch. I usually didn't do that, but <laughs> you I haven't not done it. Right, I haven't not done it. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, every well, there was there there was one time where like, um, I don't know, I was just I was just like at this bar and there was like a beer. And it was just obviously untouched, so obviously untouched, and it was like it was like out of a commercial where it was like frosty, and there was like one one drop coming down. <laughs> yeah, there's still a and lime I was on like, it. And it, yeah, still a lime on it. And I was like, I have to drink that beer. All right, you see, there's a difference between <laughs> st- I have to drink that beer. Now, now there's a difference between stealing someone's drink, <laughs> yeah, and then <laughs> and like drinking everyone else's backwash all at the same time. Like, you're playing SCD and True. disease uh, Russian I dr- roulette. I drank the beer because I assumed nobody had drank yet. Right. But I don't know that's tr- if that's true. I mean, for all you know, the person went, oh, I love lives. <laughs> 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 and put it right. 